Welcome back to The Zone. We're here with our guy, Kevin McCarthy. And today we're talking about uh, that SAG, a WGA strike, which yeah. doesn't look like it has any signs of stopping, unfortunately. And it's affecting even what you're able to cover and right. tell us about in these Lights, Camera, McCarthy segments. Right. So a lot of what's happening right now, if you're not familiar, I mean, I think a lot of people are yeah. with the strike right now. Actors and writers are on strike. A lot of reasons, uh, particularly AI, as well as streaming services and money and all these things that, you know, paying the writers, the people yeah. who are responsible for these incredible stories that you're seeing on the big screen. Uh, but weirdly enough, directors can still promote right now because the DGA, which is the Directors Guild of America, is not on strike. So gotcha. I recently spoke to Peter Berg, uh, who you might know. He's a great director, directed Friday Night Lights. He also did Deepwater Horizon, Lone Survivor. He did The Kingdom. Uh, he's a phenomenal filmmaker, also an actor. has been in a bunch of things like Chicago Hope, as well as uh, some great movies like Copland. So he directed this new series on Netflix called Painkiller, basically a six-episode series about the opioid uh, crisis and the idea of Matthew Broderick's character is one of the leads of the film, uh, the uh, series as well. And so when I spoke to Peter Berg last week, I wanted to talk to him about this idea of how weird it is that he can promote this show, but his actors cannot. And he really brought it around full circle in his answer about how this strike, while it is a Hollywood thing, think about how AI might affect your life on a daily basis outside of Hollywood. Here's Peter Berg, director of the series Painkiller, talking all about the Hollywood strike. Take a look. As a director, you're able to do press right now, but your cast cannot. Um, and it, it's interesting to me because you're also an actor at the same time. And so to be here doing press, I asked you if you thought that was strange in, in a way that you're able to still promote this work as a director. But for example, if you acted in this, you would not be able to talk about this right now as an actor. So I'm just curious, like what, at this time, as we sit here, it's such a strange time, but does it feel weird being able to put something on the director side of things? Does it feel strange to be um, witnessing actors like Wes Duchovny, who it's her first show. Uh, she plays um, uh, Shannon in, in Painkiller, or Taylor Ketch, who's works so hard, or Dina Shabani, who plays Brit, who works so hard, who are, you know, on the sidelines, they, they put so much effort into this show. It, they've been so excited for it to come out. It's a real moment for them, and they can't talk about it. Yeah. That feels strange. Um, does the fact that I'm getting, um, you know, emails from, uh, companies that have AI technology and they want to show me how they can write screenplays or they can storyboard and shoot movies or they can edit movies without having to hire writers or editors or cinematographers, you know, no. maybe they're directors because if the shots are all listed out, you could hire anyone just to execute the shots, right? That feels strange. If I was an architect and I was thinking about well, wait a minute, could AI just come in and design a house over, over me? Or I was an accountant and I did basic small business accounting. Do they really need me or is there an AI program that could just show them what their money is every month? And, you know, a lawyer, a small town lawyer that does contracts. So if I'm going to buy a house, do I really need, like, you know, it's, it, I think it's a strange time for everyone. You know, and I think Peter Berg does yes. an, it's interesting there mm. because the Hollywood strike is obviously one part mm. of the story, but he's, I mean, the AI aspect of it, I mean, the whole thing with I actors know. is, you know, it, their likeness being used, uh, you know, where they get paid and compensated right. for that. A lot of actors who have been scanned for certain projects before, what can they do with that material? How do they get paid and compensated yeah. for yeah. it? And, is, and will you end up in something that you didn't want to be a part of just through AI? Mm. Um, but also the concept of what he's saying about how this is just not Hollywood. This yeah. is like everybody right. in the world and their different jobs and the yeah. different things they do. So I mean, we've argued about that. Yeah, yeah. Like, potentially. And you, you don't think it's that big of a deal, but the more uh, I hear, the more I'm even more convinced that it is scary. a big deal. Yeah, I, don't, I think I'll be all right. Yeah. I think it's a tool, but I don't. I think uh, it's but, a but tool, I, but I don't know that. And as, that's the. But, I, can, but can human beings be reasonable and use it as a tool? Yeah. I don't think so. That's what I'm afraid. I mean, you just that's what I'm when weeks and weeks talk about Oppenheimer right. and what human beings. I mean, you have one intent and then the intention is of something else. On that note, you get it. Thumbs up for me because I don't trust these <laughs> human <right>. beings. <laughs> Peter Berg, Painkiller, uh, new series on Netflix now uh, if you haven't seen it. All right. Uh, Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Thank you, Kevin.